20 years of interviewing lots and lots of leaders, Keith just stands out, his honesty, his sincerity, his kindness. And that's him as a person. I think that's so important as a leader. But then when you talk about the business aspect, the way he thinks about things, it's just, it's incredible. And when I look at uh, the work that he's done, having, having interviewed him, when I look at what he did with Ariba, when I look what he has done with DocuSign and what he has brought to it and how he made these companies the category king and his depth of thought and how you do that, I think is just absolutely incredible. Hello, I'm Viva Bianca, and today I have the honor of speaking with Keith Crack. I'd be interested in hearing about your pivot from General Motors to Silicon Valley, speaking about scary fun and, and, and placing yourself in, in, in a space of discomfort. Yeah. Um, how was that transition for you, and how did you cope with it? Yeah. To reinvent yourself, so to speak. Yeah. It was difficult. It was like I was running the 100 meter dash and got smacked in the face by a two by four. So, you know, I'd been at General Motors for 10 years. I left right along when I was my 30th birthday. And, uh, you know, back then, when you were vice president at General Motors, you were gonna stay, you know, for a 40 year career. So people thought I was nuts um, wow. leaving and coming out to Silicon Valley. And I, and I came out as a uh, number two person in a software company. And the second day on the job, the CEO said, uh, Keith, this is what I want you saying in the board meeting. And I just thought about it and I said, I will not, that would be lying. And right then I knew, uh, I probably made the mistake of my life. And, um, uh, you know, it, upon reflection, there was no way I was going back to General Motors, just out of sheer, um, pride, I think. And it was about the worst nine months of my life because on one hand, um, I had never really quit anything without the mission in essence being done. But on the other hand, I wasn't living my values every day and I didn't share the same set of values um, as that CEO. And I thought maybe I could, I could change the culture of the company, something like that. I, I actually couldn't. So, um, this was when my oldest son was being born that, that particular day and, uh, IBM was coming into the company and they had, they were our biggest investor. And so she gave me a call and said, Keith, you got to come in. You know, we have the IBM folks. I go, no, I talk with the team. They can, I'm not missing the birth of my son. And after the third time, I finally told her to do something that's anatomically impossible to do. And I said, I quit. And um, that was a very scary time because here I am now with two children, you know, this California mortgage. I don't know hardly anybody out here. And, uh, but what that really did was mm -hmm. that laid the foundation for, you know, the next company, Razna, Reba and all that. And um, I learned probably one of the most valuable lessons of my life. And that is uh, the importance of a strong set of values. And, you know, growing up in Ohio, going to school at Purdue and at General Motors, it just seemed like everybody had a strong set of values and integrity. Mm -hmm. And it was so much right in front of my face, I didn't see it, so I took it for granted. And uh, I made sure that would never happen again. I mean, uh, everything in life uh, revolves around a strong set of values and, mm -hmm. and integrity. If that's not at a, at a company, you know, you're working with, if I had to do it all over again, I would have I quit right there. But I think that was a really a valuable lesson. So that was my transition to Silicon Valley. So it sounds like you were up against traditional leadership. We were talking about that earlier, traditional leadership versus uh, transformational leadership. What would be your advice to people who um, come up against that today? Yeah, I, I think my advice would be don't make the same mistake that I made. Um, you know, leave. Mm -hmm. leave because um, people can uh, say I don't like uh, uh, how you look where you went to school all that but they can never they can never take away your integrity and and your values mm 